Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about men and trans women or cisgender men and trans women, the men who find transsexual women attractive. Now I was having a really interesting conversation with, with one of my male friends um, who dates trans women and we were just having an interesting conversation because we were talking about dating and trans women and the fact that a lot of trans women work in the adult industry completely or they have their toes dipped in a little bit you know because as trans women it's very difficult for us to find normal work or if we do it's it's not greatly paid um or we have to deal with uh, everyday abuse uh, uh, from the general public because of us being trans whether it's verbally or hopefully not always but sometimes physical as well and so a lot of us work in the adult industry in some shape or form or we work on the club scene or we do both so it's it's all finding different ways of earning a decent living and so it's kind of part and parcel of being a trans woman not always because there's loads of trans women who don't work in the adult industry i'm not generalizing i'm just saying that there is quite a lot of us who work in the adult industry so because of that a lot of guys need to uh, a lot of guys see us in a certain way um because of our jobs and so they treat us in a certain way because of our jobs and because a lot of us are treated in a certain way we behave in a certain way towards men and so we have this vicious cycle going on uh, and the guy that i was talking to said that you know he wouldn't be opposed to dating a trans woman for a long-term relationship as long as there there was like an end uh, as long as the person he was with saw a, a long future with them as well and they could build a family together uh, and then again, I was saying, you know, a lot of trans women aren't really interested in having children. Um, obviously not all. Uh, but a lot of trans women aren't interested in having children. I will just say again that these are all just my opinions and some things that I've had conversations with other trans friends of mine about. So obviously I'm not speaking for everybody else. I'm just talking for myself. So don't take what I say as how every trans woman thinks because that is not something you should ever do with anybody in any situation but i digress um so i was just saying you know uh, it's very difficult as a trans woman and i've been around a long time so i've had dating experience and, and all that kind of stuff but it's very difficult to be seen as a second option by a man i've had men so many times say oh you know i'm not really looking for anything serious with a trans woman you know but she can it'll bide my time until i meet the one and then I can get married and have children with a cisgender woman you know I wouldn't marry a trans woman or I don't see a future with a trans woman so I'm just doing this while I've got the time to do it but then I'll move on to something else uh, and I've had that said to me a lot I also know that my I had a long-term relationship for 13 years and I feel like the only reason that that lasted as long as it did was because he'd already been married and had children so he'd already done that with somebody and he always made it very clear to me that uh, he wouldn't be getting married again which i should have seen as a red flag from the start but you live and learn um <laughs> so i think a lot of us feel like we're always seen as second best or just a plan b option um whenever we don't feel like we're the only girl that he has interest in um i've definitely felt like that i've never felt like uh, as a trans woman i've never felt like a guy was really only interested in me and that was it i always saw it as if i if i said no he'd go oh all right i'll just go on to someone else or if i said i wasn't ready yet or if i said that he was moving too fast or if i felt like he was just looking for sex it would just always just be oh okay i'll just go on to another girl i'll just move on to her so you never felt like they were really truly interested in you um and so it puts your back up and then it makes you behave in a certain way towards men or it makes you very suspicious or it makes you very jaded or it makes you bitter you know there's all these things which you're trying not to be but you're constantly be, being pushed down that kind of way of thinking um and obviously with men you know there's lots of issues for men dating trans women there's a lot of pressure on them to date a trans woman there's a lot possibly at stake for them as far as their family their work and their life if they are rejected because of that so there's all of that there's also a lot of men who would who can't deal with a trans woman working in the adult industry or, or dealing with her being an escort or dealing with her having an only fans or dealing with her working in a strip club you know there's so many different aspects you know when it comes to cisgender women there's so many of them that there's a far fewer amount of cisgender women who work in the adult industry so a guy can if a guy doesn't like a woman who does that he can always go and find someone else but because trans women there's such a small amount of us and because most of us have to work in that industry 
nine times out of ten, the girl that you find attractive is going to be working in the adult industry. And you're going to either have to learn to deal with that or not accept it. You know, asking a trans woman to stop doing her job and going to work in the general public, doing, earning nothing from what she was already earning, to to be able to keep you, that's an unfair expectation on a trans woman. But at the same time... Um, you can't force a guy to accept what you do. You know, it's either it either works or it doesn't. And if you choose to leave a well-paid job and go and work in a, le a really badly paid job for someone you love, that, again, is your choice. And you shouldn't be judged on that. I'm not judging anyone here. I'd like to make a point there. Uh, I'm not making any judgments on people. I'm just trying to say this is how things are. Um, and I think it's uh, we need to have more conversations about these topics because they are discussed... Uh, and everyone is kind of sort of in limbo with how everyone feels about different things. So this video I have done today because I think we need to have a conversation. We need to start conversations going about this kind of topic. So I would like to hear your thoughts and feelings about trans women and cisgender men dating, um, long term relationships. What do you think is the key to get this to work properly? What do you think needs to happen on both sides? Leave your comments below or do another video yourself uh, and tag me in it so that we can get a conversation going. What do you all think about this topic? Let me know. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Lots of love. And shall I see you in the next video? Lots of love. Take care.